with the very handsome Brandon Lee and also the recipient of our Courageous Award tonight at the 2023 Brainiac Bash. Congratulations, that's awesome. Oh, thank you, and I can say that this is awkward. The roles are reversed. I held the microphone for like 22 years as a news anchor, so nice. it's a little awkward being interviewed. But uh, yeah, it's a great night. I'm super grateful to be here and, and just blessed to be connected with Brain Injury Alliance of Arizona. Now, I spoke to somebody else who's a brain injury survivor, and they first said that their art was what has what has gotten them through it. I feel like you're that guy too. <laughs> it is, you know, art was introduced to me after I, I suffered a relapse, my first relapse in recovery back in 2020. And that took me to a really dark place. And so, I mean, I even suffered suicidal ideation after that relapse. And so I began to do a lot of inner child healing work. And part of that healing work was being introduced to art as a form of therapy. Nice. And uh, it was just months after that, I had a vision and a dream to leave news, a career of which I had of 22 years to open up an art healing studio for trauma survivors like myself, uh, to give them the gift of art and the way art has helped me heal from my trauma. And months later, that became the birth of Art of Our Soul. Now, Art of Our Soul is here in Phoenix, but is it? do you have other locations for that? Um, no, but I don't mind announcing right now, uh, we are gonna be expanding nationwide here in 2023. I'm, I'm a little early yeah, then with yeah, the question. No, yeah. you are, which is great. Um, we're really proud of the way it's done. And I think over the past 14 months to see the impact our fairly innovative approach to art therapy has had an impact on so many people that uh, we're now going to be teaming up with large behavioral health clinics and hospitals around the country so that they can provide those same services to the patients that they see. Fabulous. And hey, and the art's good too. Yeah, Let's no, not we, forget about that. We set it up yeah. so we set it up for success for anybody. And I and I always hear when people walk into the art studio like Brandon, you know, I'm not an artist, I'm not good at this. And I said, hey, give me one hour and I promise you we'll make you an artist. Yeah. Anyone ex that you're very excited to see here tonight? Ooh, um, well, I, I was just told that there's some WWE folks in the house tonight. There it is, there <laughs> so, is. Uh, so that I'm kind of interested in, I mean, maybe meet those folks. But um, you know what, I, I always say, you know, um, when they offered me the award and told me they wanted to honor me, I actually turned it down at first. Um, and I told them, you know, I've been in the spotlight for 22 years, uh, you know, as a journalist and had received a lot of recognition. I'd always had the spotlight on me, and so I turned them down. Uh, and then they came back to me about a week later and said, no, really. And, uh, and I said, you know, I would rather put the spotlight on other folks who don't often get the spotlight on them. So to be quite honest with you, it's the humbling stories of the, of the everyday folks that you meet at these things who suffered a lot of trauma and they're healing from it. And to me, those people deserve the spotlight. And, and those are the people I really like to meet. Well, hey, you accepting this award in so many ways, you're accepting on behalf of everybody who has gone through something and come out the other end. So thank you and congratulations again. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Honored to be here. Awesome.